This book could profoundly change your life, and there's one little secret I've got to tell you about. This book has had a huge impact on the way I look at sleep and how I approach it. Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker. Before I tell you the secret about this book, I have to say I do love the book, and it really changed the way that I look at sleep and how I approach it in my own life. I love how he shares parts and studies about how sleep influences our cognition, memory, and learning, and how it's related to deep sleep, REM sleep, and light sleep. Here's the really important secret about this book that you probably didn't know about. This incredible article right here by Alexi Guzzi, Matthew Walker's Why We Sleep, is riddled with scientific and factual errors. I highly recommend you go and check this out. This whole thing is just about the first chapter, I think. So there's something you might want to look at. I've obviously read the book and I've read this article and I can tell you this. There are definitely major inconsistencies and I'd love to hear the rebuttal of Matthew Walker. However, that probably won't happen. The biggest takeaway I can give you hands down is that sleep is important and you need to find the amount of sleep that works for you. Like Matthew Walker says, the shorter you sleep, the shorter your lifespan. And honestly, even logically, there's no way to know that because of causality and correlation. There are so many things in a person's life. They can't just isolate sleep on longevity. There's no way. There's food, there's exercise, there's relationships. There's too many things going on to know just about sleep. Find the amount that works for you, but you need to have a routine and don't stay awake through the night. That's probably not good. There's something to be said about the circadian rhythm and our biological clock. And the studies are fascinating on how sleep relates to cognition and learning and memory. Honestly, we've all stayed up or not gotten enough sleep and you're just off. You're emotionally off. You're intellectually off. You know something's off. I get so excited about sleep. It was a huge problem for me for so long. I went to sleep at different times. I was a night owl and society shamed me for years for that. So I felt horrible about it. So I was always trying to work on it and learn about it and study about it. And this book really opened the door for a lot of the ways that I look at sleep now. Even despite all the factual errors, you just need to check those for yourself. Bottom line, get enough sleep. Always do. Have your best day.